Hi everybody. So the last two lessons we've heard about was um, counting up to a dollar with our loony and counting um, to making values of change up to uh, two dollars with our toony. So this is our new um, amount that we're going to look at today. This is our five dollar bill. Our five dollar bill does not have Queen Elizabeth on it. It has Sir Wilfrid Laurier. He was the seventh Prime Minister of Canada. And on the back, we've got the Canadian Space Arm, which is pretty awesome. Uh, both of these, you can, of course, Google and take a look at that. It's pretty amazing. So the $5 bill is very, very cool. $5, here I go, back down we go. $5 bill can be represented by doing this. Uh, loop. Five dollars. We can write five dollars out this way. Bloop. We can write it out this way as five hundred cents. Or oh boy, my writing's messy upside down, isn't it? Or of course we can write it out like this: five dollars. Bloop. Like that. Okay. So five hundred cents. Of course, if I had five of these, this is what it would be. 500 cents with every penny representing every square or of course um, counting if you're counting with your 10 cents 10 20 30 all the way five times with five flats as well this can be represented uh, with your hundreds chart oh I don't know if we can see that oh, there you go with our hundreds chart that we know and love so much but five of these okay so again, if you're using the five, uh, the hundreds chart to count your fives and tens and twenty-five cents again, and you are and counting by twenty-fives, uh, you could continue to use it with uh, your money to five dollars. So five dollars is pretty amazing. Five dollars can be represented with, of course, five loonies. And I don't think I have five loonies unfortunately. I only have four, which is a bit of a Oh, do I have another one? No, I do not. Oh dear. So I only have four loonies right now. So let's imagine that I have another loony here and I'll draw a very uh, silly loon here on the water. So there's my other loony right there. So I can represent with five loonies. I can, of course, represent it with uh, my toonies as well, but I cannot represent it with equals amounts of toonies. So we're going to look at different ways that we can make five dollars, uh, just like what we did when we were talking about the toonie and how we can represent that number and how we can pull it apart. So if I'm representing with the toonie, I could take two loonies, of course, and turn them into two toonies like this. And then, because I don't have an extra one, and then have another loonie on the side. So there's two different ways to represent your five dollar bill already. Okay, so I'm going to just move this out of the way for now. And we're going to look at other ways that we can show $5 with all of our different variations of coins. Okay, let's assume that we start off with this one because this is the easiest way to do it. I say 2, 4 plus 1 is 5. And I want to break my money down into something different. So I can represent it this way. I can take my toonie away and I could switch it in for two loonies, and I still know that I have five dollars. I have two, three, four, five. So I'm counting on two, three, four, five this way. Hmm, now what else can I do? Of course, you're right. I could take this and I can trade this in for two other loonies, so let's do that just for fun. I can show that value this way, and we've already shown this value, so absolutely we can do it that way. Let's imagine that we haven't though yet. We're going to replace those back. We're going to put back the toonie and I still have this value here. Let's imagine that I'm taking this back, I'm erasing, and I now have it back to where I originally had my money. And I'm going to start by representing this value here. I'm going to take my toonie or my loonie away and I'm going to replace it with four quarters. Is that still $5? Of course it is. We know, based on all the lessons we've already done, that four quarters is the same as a loony. So let's just start breaking it down for fun. I don't know. 
Call out a money. Call out some money. What should I replace? Good idea. I'm going to do that. Whoever said quarter, well done. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to replace that one quarter with 10, 20, 25 cents. Is that still $5? Absolutely. What should I replace now? Let's replace a dime. Can I replace a dime? And there it is. Is that still five dollars? Two, four, four dollars fifty, four dollars seventy-five, four dollars eighty, four dollars ninety, four dollars ninety-five, and another dollar is five dollars. I want to stop for a minute and just take a look at what how I just counted this. I'm just gonna take that five dollars off. I started with a big um, change here and I went two dollars four dollars and then I went over here and I looked at my quarters and of course I'm still moving my money as I count it makes it make sense to me so two dollars four dollars four dollars twenty five four dollars fifty four dollars seventy five cents I know that seventy five cents because we've talked a lot about quarters already and how to do that then I had seventy five cents I want to get my change up to uh, counting by tens Counting by tens is so much easier. So I go 75 cents and then I'm going to move the five cents over to give it 80. So I can go 80 and then I get to count by tens. 80 and I move over my dime. 90 cents. Now I can go back and I could just go bloop. 10 cents over. There I go again. Two nickels is 10. 90 a dollar. Or if it makes sense for me, I can skip back. Go back to counting by fives and go uh, 90, 95 cents, one dollar. So in previous videos I said start with the big money, um, sort them and then skip count that way. This way I actually mixed up my coins. I went 75 cents, 80 and then 90. So for me that made sense. For you it might be different. You might have gone 75 cents, 85 cents, 95 cents one dollar whatever works for you so that's a strategy okay so back to looking at values we're still looking at just this money here this is still two dollars four dollars and this is still that loony that we keep breaking apart but the value that we still see on this mat is still the same as a five dollar bill coins are just representations of the value that you're looking at that is it okay so I can take this guy apart if I want to, toss that aside, and pull away two loonies. Is that still going to be $5? Let's count. $2, $3, $4, and we still know, haven't touched it, that's still another dollar, $5. Absolutely, the value is still the same. Well, this is really a lot of fun. Let's take apart this loony. We'll trade it in for four quarters, just for fun. And let's take a look and see what we have there. 25, or sorry, $2, $3, $3, $25, $3, $50, $3, $75, $4, $4, $75, $4, $80, $4, $90, $5. It's still $5. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm having such a blast. Okay. So, I am going to do something. I feel like after these lessons, you're sort of understanding, I would think, how you can break apart the values by just kind of pulling something aside here and going, well, that's not quite it, or I can make this something different. Okay, I'm just going to sweep the board. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pile of money and we're going to put it down here. And you're going to tell me what I have. It might be a lot. It might be nothing. Uh oh, I dropped one. Oh, there it is. It fell. Okay. So I emptied out my change purse. And I have uh, all the change here. It might be from Tooth Fairy or jobs around the house. Or maybe you were doing some recycling. Um when the depot was still open, and this is what you have left. So let's sort our money. I'm gonna sort my loonies here. I'm gonna sort my toonies there. 
I've got my nickel here. I'm going to put my dimes together and I'm going to put my nickels together. <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is start to count. For me, it's easier to count this first. It's easier for me to count this because I can do it really fast. One, two, three, four. Or I can go two, three, four. I know that I have money there. So two, three, four. Or I can go the other way and I can say one, two, three, four. Okay, so however you want to do it, but I know for sure that is four dollars. Well done, me. Now I'm going to go over here. This side is the value of a dollar. So remember, a dollar means it's a hundred flat, right? It's a hundred. It's a hundred cents. That's going to give you an exact one dollar. All this is here. This is this side of uh, when we write the money. This is the cent side. So this is the dollar side and this side over here is the cents and it's represented uh, by the break in the decimal point right here. Okay, so this means a full or complete dollar and this means part of a dollar. We're not quite there yet. So we're looking at the part of a dollar right here and we're trying to figure out how much we have because we might actually have a dollar. I don't know. So let's take a look. We're going to start to count. So four dollars, starting with my quarter again, four dollars and 25 cents. Okay, so two ways again that you can do this. You can do 25 cents and then count by tens and then add that part up there. Or you can do 25s, count by fives, count by tens. I'm going to do both ways. So I'm going to go 25 cents, counting by fives, 30, counting by fives, 35, 45. Ooh, no, wait, 25, 30, 35, 45. Nope, that's not right. <laughs> 25 cents plus 5, 30 plus 5, 35 cents. Aha, plus 5, 40 cents. I made a mistake. Good thing I counted. I recognize that. 40 cents. Then I'm going to add dimes. 40, 50, 60. I have 60 cents. I can do this another way and hopefully I won't make a mistake. 25 cents. I'm going to take this one over and I'm going to turn that to 30 cents and then I'm going to count by five by tens 30 40 50 and then I'm going to do it this way 55 60 okay or I can do it another way 25 cents 30 40 50 55 60 regardless of how we look at it we have got on this side, we have got 60 cents, or we can write it as 0 0.60 here. By adding these two numbers up, I'm going to show you what this looks like with my black marker on this side. I have $4 here. Remember, $4 here. Now I'm going to add my 60 cents here and I'm going to figure out what I have. Does this look familiar to you? Looks an awful lot like our place value, doesn't it? So here we go. This is our hundred cents. Our hundreds cents. Hundreds. These are all the ten cents that we have right? Counting by tens. And these are the ones or the pennies that we have. Let's take a look. Starting by adding, we always start in the ones column. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus six tens is still six tens. And then we drop the decimal. Don't ever forget about that decimal. The decimal has to stay there because this is showing the complete dollar. Four dollars plus no more dollars is four dollars. And please do not oops, forget the dollar sign at the end because we're talking about money. And so this is how I know I have four dollars and sixty cents. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. We're going to do one more lesson.